Hey guys, Quad Addict here from quadcopter.us. Um, I want to do a new video today for you for my much ado and needed G10 arms. Um, these are quarter inch G10 and um, they're virtually the same size and file that I use for my aluminum. Okay. But what I did was I changed these inner cuts out to make it more rigid, less flexible. Um, but I milled out this area, not as much as I do the aluminum, because I wanted to have it, make sure it's strong enough there to hold motors. But you can still put any motor on here you want, virtually any motor, all the Tigers, 4006s, NT motors, all the Turnigy stuff, because um, I left all the mounting patterns here. Um, Still got your hole for your wiring, and what I did, I just did different cuts here just to give it some strength and twisting and bending. So um, I'm really excited about these arms, guys. Um, they turned out really nice. Um, Weight-wise, to be honest with you, they're probably no lighter than the aluminum. Um, just because what I did was, if you look at here, if you look at the aluminum versus the uh, G10, the sidewalls here are thicker on the G10 than the aluminum because I wanted to, the aluminum is more rigid obviously if it was the same cuts but I needed to add this support in here so I thickened up these walls here and then I added the uh, triangle cut here so all the walls here are thicker than on the aluminum and I'm not replacing aluminum with the G10 I'm just going to offer it as an alternative because I think the aluminum looks pretty kick-ass on the uh, on the frames um, and not only that they're super strong my arms have proved to been Oh, time and time again, strong in crashes. Um, but I will be offering these G10 arms very soon. And I'll offer them in different colors as well. Um, but just to give you a quick glance here. Really nice millwork there. Same, same hole pattern for all the iconic frames from this year, they'll all fit. See a different layer in that G10 there. So when I milled out this area, I only milled it to uh, 0.125, an eighth of an inch, versus like 0.175. And you could probably see the thickness compared to the two there. Let's see, you can probably see there, it, it's thicker here. So you'll be able to fit any 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 arm um, will be interchangeable with any of the frames that are using aluminum. So, but uh, pretty exciting uh, for me to get these done. Um, I've had a lot of people ask for them, and I've done them in the past, but not with this design for testing. Um, but you know, my cost the G10 costs more than the aluminum, so you know that's that's what held me back most of the time. But I'm excited about these arms, guys. It's going to change everything on the frames. It's going to be these are super strong. I believe these are going to be these are going to hold up just as much. But you know these aren't going to bend. You know, so we've got a couple. I got one guy doing a test, and he's happy with it so far um, because of the design of the frame with the vibration dampers. It's still holding up pretty well. But uh, these are the new iconic X arms, and these will interchange with uh, any uh, any of my competitors' frame. Well, just one competitor's frame. Um, you all know who, which one that is. And I'm selling these as an upgrade for that frame. Um, so it, the, the QAV is a pretty decent frame. We all know that it is. And if you need replacement arms, G10, these will bolt right up, guys. So I hope you like them. And uh, I appreciate all the new subscribers. I'm getting an all-time high now coming up to uh, 1,400 subscribers now, and um, I want to start adding some more quadcopter videos. Um, I have been uh, lacking lately because some other stuff I'm doing and uh, trying to get my health in order. So, But these are the new arms, guys. Thanks for watching. It's Quad Addict and quadcopter.us. Thanks. Bye.